أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الله عز وجل guided us to this path and to be under the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم under the nazar of Allah and Allah عز وجل's rahmah to guide us and to dress us and to take a path in which we try so hard to be nothing and how Shaitan continuously confuses us of our path. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitani r-rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, Amin. Means all you who believe, believe. Allah's Holy Qur'an and the words of Sayyidina Muhammad and the inspirations of Allah, they're like a little flower bud. The seed has such a tremendous difficulty in the dirt but as soon as you water it with good action, good amal, through struggle and strive it eventually can break. And now a fruit, a tree, a plant, a flower is going to grow. Our life is about that struggle so that we can blossom. And Allah is giving that all you who believe that there are infinite ranks of belief. And Allah wants to complete His favors upon us. That your Islam and Taslim is an action, is a, is a verb, that your life is about submitting. So I dress you and send you into the schools that teach real submission. The schools of Taskiyah, the schools of purification, that we find ourselves enrolled in them. And reminded of Imam Sharafuddin Dagestani. When in that region in Dagestan, they had big difficulties. The Russian armies were slaughtering all of the Muslims. And they came to Shaykh Dagestani and said that uh, these people are approaching, they're in that village at a distance, they're coming towards our village. Yes, Shaykh Dagestani, tell us what to do. He said, plant your flowers, it's planting season. We say, but we're hoping that we are the people of contemplation. Shaykh Dagestani was telling his people that, plant your seeds. He's aware of what's coming, he's aware of the difficulties that are coming. And the people are frightened by their nature and difficulty within their faith and their iman. And they're asking the shaykh, what should we do? And his reply, plant your seeds. At that time plant the seeds, something going to happen, there's going to be a sifting. Because this path is not an easy path. And the darajat that Allah wants to grant is not for everyone. There's going to be a sifting and the tariqah is all about sifting. That you throw out the rocks to keep the stones, from semi-precious stones to precious stones. They don't want rock collection, so you have to keep sifting, keep testing, keep testing. So then a great test that plant your seeds, don't worry. Okay, the two-thirds of the jama'ah in that region of Dagestan, they said the shaykh is crazy. So now in the middle of this test they begin to exhibit their true nature and their character. And this is what Allah means, that those people with you, they pretend to be with you but if you squeeze a little bit they begin to exhibit their true nature. Do they see that nature? And that's the whole purpose of testing. It wasn't about the end goal because you don't even know the end goal. It wasn't about the planting but because they have little faith 
and little understanding, they begin to find a reason in which they're fighting about the planting. Why is he asking us to plant? What kind of coordinates is this? You're surely going to be slaughtered. Oh, he just wants the money from the crops, he wants the food, he wants this, or maybe he lost his coordinates and he lost his mind. Stop for that. They give that example so that you can visualize that what Allah wants from us is the struggle. We don't know the end coordinates. It's not important that you think you even know the end coordinates. That you think it's about the planting but it's about something much deeper from Allah That as soon as Allah gives a coordinates, He wants to see your level of faith, your level of struggle, your level of taslim and istiqam, to be firm in your feet, firm in your belief. Otherwise if you're crazy now, imagine what you're going to be when difficulty comes. people will be sifted and thrown out. Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the elements within our cosmos. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and journeys to the Divine's most powerful son of all universes, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. These symbols of guidance lead us on the path to enlightenment and by applying the disciplines of the star, the willing seeker can unlock hidden realities of the soul. It is ultimately through their guiding light that the student transcends life on earth and moves closer to realizing true cosmic awareness. Available worldwide at Amazon.com They're not interested in crazy people. What they're interested in is that people who want to taslim and submit, submit their craziness, submit their doubt, submit all of their bad characteristics and taslim and say, for surely I know nothing, I don't know my name in Allah's presence and I have seven names, I don't know myself and I'm with this donkey all the time and I don't know it, how am I going to know that shaykh? How am I going to know Prophet Most of all greatest, how am I going to know Allah So I don't know. So what Sayyidina Yunus, Raylanta, Subhanika, ini kuntu minal dhali. Glory be to you for I'm truly an oppressor to myself. Subhanika Allahumma Ya Rabbi. If that's not the zikr of our past, it's from Qur'an, we say a hundred times but I don't think people really take heed of it. They think, oh shaykh is talking about somebody else, no he's talking about himself. This was our path, this is my path, this is my coordinates with my shaykh, is that I am oppressor to myself. Ya Rabbi, if you leave me to myself, which myself is now the one whispering, this shaykh doesn't know what he's doing. Who's, who's saying that? Is you getting inspiration from Allah to say that shaykh doesn't know that shaykh is a representative of the light of Sayyidina Muhammad You're coming against Allah Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa Ulul Am. Any time in your life that you're going to speak bad about the Ulul Am, you're speaking bad about Prophet you're speaking bad about Allah 
And every time you talk with doubt and talk with shaq and talk with all these bad characteristics, the people around you are listening to what you're saying and they're building their faith on that. So I know many people, they were coming and they talked so bad at their table about the shaykhs. Say he doesn't know, he's like that, who like that, like that, the children are listening. The family's listening. And when it comes time to believe, what believe? You were just telling us all these crazy things. We don't believe in any shaykhs. You made them now from Hizb shaitan Because they, in their heart they pulled away from that understanding, they pulled away from these people. Instead of having ihtiram and love, the shaykh is, is busy trying to build the love of Prophet the love of that example. An insan who becomes partnered with shaitan is continuously trying to destroy that image, destroy its name, destroy its value. Nur al-Anwar wa Sirat al-Asrar to carry the lights of Prophet When you defame and deface and devalue them, you are taking away from Prophet Who are you coming against? And if you come against Prophet you are coming against Allah So it means you feed the people around you garbage and then you'll be surprised, oh, why is everything so garbage? But you feed it good, you feed it with love, we only talked great about Muhammad Shaykh. If there was any confusion in my heart, it was my confusion. And Mawlana is great, his light immense, he represents Sayyidina Muhammad Any time in your life you believe, this was my belief, being taught to people who listening, that should be your belief. But if you want to feed doubt and suspicion and effacing and defacing and defaming, there will be nothing of, of iman. They didn't have the iman in their heart to follow. They used their brain and all the bad characteristics and said, surely you don't know what you're talking about. These coordinates you're giving to us make no sense at this time and they ran. They ran and they were slaughtered in the woods. What do you think was waiting for them? Is shaitan is waiting for you. You think you will walk away? That's why Allah gives the ayat of the bayah. Those who gave a covenant and they fulfilled their covenant with Allah that's truly successful. And those who broke their covenant, broke it to the demise of their own soul. I mean what Allah wants from us, don't separate, don't lift your hand. Lift your hand means don't even lose your faith. What's coming is unimaginable. And so then the turuq, everything about their operation is to test. The one making sandwiches downstairs, we're not a sandwich. You gotta be crazy if that's all you saw of it. We didn't come into this life and left this life and he didn't sit in this life and leave this life to go back to Allah that he makes a good panini with garlic. But he goes back to Allah in complete taslim. And in the old days they'd have a bagh in a farm. They had a pile of bricks and there's hundred bricks on this side, they say, move these bricks to this side. When you move the bricks to this side, say, I don't want it there. I'm no, no, I want you to move the bricks to that side, then you move the bricks to that side. It wasn't about the shaykh doesn't know where he wants these bricks. It was about Allah seeing their struggle.
ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special duas and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. As soon as you struggle, your true character comes out. When you sit in leisure and it's everything great and somebody giving you samosas and you're having your tea, you, you talk very sweet. As soon as they make you to go through a grind and begin to test you in your grind and they grind you, all your craziness comes out. All your bad talk comes out, all your doubts and everything is coming out of you. That's what they want you to see. The taruq is not about the end result because you don't know the end result. Sit with the shaykh and say, I'm trying to get a job, he tell you to apply for every ridiculous position. The shaykh doesn't know what he's talking about. It wasn't about you even finding a job. Maybe Allah doesn't want you to have a job. Yeah, because then the grind becomes more difficult. Can you imagine struggling with no job? Then your sweating and anger becomes more. Then they want to see and then look into the heart. Allah is looking into the heart that he's got a lot of complaints when he's being grinded or if he's perfected, he has very little complaints. He says, Alhamdulillah Allah is providing for me. I'm eating, I'm not starving, I have a roof over my head. It's just being postponed, postponed, postponed to grind, to grind, to grind, to see where the characteristic is. So it means the taruq is not about the end result. Don't think you're clever and you figured it out, your head has no understanding. This was from the example of Nabi Musa He didn't understand the word. Everything he's talking about with Sayyidina Khidr he's thinking he understands. He's going to teach Sayyidina Khidr about Sharia. So this wasn't about that. This was about you following, being patient and being tested. And in the testing we want to see your character, not me. There are 40 above that are watching you and they watch you when you go home and they watch you when you're talking and they watch you when you're talking to your family and they watch every aspect of what you're doing to see if that quality is there and that that station is being achieved. Because only through the grinding Allah can see the goodness of character. Because everybody is sweet when everything is sweet. But when you're sad and you lose faith, are you still sweet? You give up in your belief in Allah your love for Sayyidina Muhammad Doubt in only Allah and pious people who open everything for you, who look left and right for you, how everything opens, how that barakah is dressing everything and that you find yourself sitting in circles of paradise, you could be in nightclubs right now. It is the glue that binds your entire family. For if you doubt and you leave, look at all the families that have no glue and everybody is in a divorce, everything is in a separation and the children can't stand the sight of their own parents. 
it is a glue that binds because Allah Holy Qur'an don't separate, hold tight to the rope of Allah and don't separate. These are the people of love, Habnillah, the people of the rope and Fub, it's the same letters. Means if you keep the company of the people of love, that immense love is a glue that binds all our families, all our relationships. Why? Because Allah you can't make anyone love you but when you love Allah He makes all of creation love you. If Allah said, I love that one, everything in its being will love you. The children are attracted to you. When you come home, they want to see you. Why? Because they're mazloom and pure, and Allah put that love immensely in their heart. Like a sponge, they want to be with that love. So then people stay together. If Allah pull that love and say, you go to Hezb shaitan you take the hand of shaitan, is there any love? Your children will hate you, your spouse will hate you and this dunya will hate you. That's why Allah says then, you damage to your own self. Means what I'm dressing you of muhabba, of, of realities is so immense and taking us into the Divinely Presence but we always have to remember this, is, this game is about the struggle and not the end result. And when you forget about the struggle and think you'll make a shortcut to the end result, that's not what this game is about. The want to see the struggle, the want to see the characteristics within that struggle means they walked away from Grand Shaykh Sharaf al Deen except one thing. They said, Grand Shaykh, we're, we're putting our seeds. They put their seeds. As soon as they finished their planting, she said, Come here. Everybody gathered and took water. I'm going to recite from Surat al Yaseen upon this water as a protection for you. Drink from this water and follow me, we're walking through now. They walked from Dagestan all the way to Turkey and not one person was shot, not one person was killed. And he said that everything in the forest was shot. If a bird moved, they were shooting at it. They were slaughtering from village to village. They didn't take a single weapon, not, there was no fighting, he said, just you read on this water I'm going to read, you drink from this water, follow me and we're going into Turkey. And they walked the whole way to Turkey, all of them safe. Why the first test? Because they have to have Iman. If they are not believing in you, you tell me to drink that water and they start shooting in the bushes, I'm screaming and everybody going to be slaughtered. And our life is about testing. When Allah wants something, Allah knows what's coming, Allah knows the difficulty that's coming. If the level of belief is not there on this garbage, imagine the level of belief when real difficulty opens. We pray that Allah guide us, bless us and grant us the light of faith. Prophet dress us and bless us from those lights and only Allah dress us and bless us and keep us under their nazar inshaAllah with those lights. Inna al sharaf al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala sahbihi kiram wa ala mashaykhina fi tariqat al-Nashkumbiyyat al-Aliyah wa sayyid al-Sadatina wa sadaqeena al-Fatiha.